Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Yeah, like in the title, we are going to be making a modern LA mansion. Now, I don't really do mansions that often. I have tried before and girl, let me tell you, it does not look good. Um, I had to do a lot of reference photos for this. I did, of course, make it my own, but I definitely got heavily inspired um, by this house and it was kind of a mashup between all of the pictures that I found like I have like five different pictures kind of saved and I kind of just like put them all into one so like the front of the house is kind of like an inspiration from like one home and then the back is another it's just it's all over the place but you know in the end I really like the way it turned out on the outside it's very like light and happy and very like modern and clean and on the inside it's a little grungy it's a little cold it's a little bit dark <laughs> um but it's still modern and it looks kind of nice I'm not gonna lie I really like it and if I could live in this house I would girl let me tell you I want to live <laughs> in a home like this <laughs> but like it's so cold I would want to live in like a modern home but like make it cozy like have fungal pops everywhere <laughs> if you don't know about my obsession I have like I I have so many fungal pops it's not even funny like I literally went through um like over i lost count around like 50. i had to like clean out my closet because we moved around my room a whole lot because my bed was too big and my room was too small and it was just it, there was no room so we moved my old bed into like my bedroom now and i had to go through like all of my fungal pops and there's just like a wall <laughs> of fungal pops like from like top to bottom and i'm like i'm gonna have to go through all of this right now oh my god and <laughs> Like 30 minutes later, I finally finished and I was like, dang, I have way too many. <laughs> so I definitely have way too much, but I do have a pile to get rid of. Some of them I'm keeping because, girl, I looked up and some of them are worth money and I'm definitely going to be keeping that. It's no like holographic Charizard, but <laughs> it'll make me a couple bucks if I hold on to it. So that's the goal. That's the plan. We got to make the moolah, right? <laughs> but this house is a lot of fun to build. It did take a lot longer than I thought and the stairs like not even on the interior but the exterior stairs of this build were not friendly to me like every time i tried to make a different kind of like roof or i added like a wall or i added like even a fence the the stairs would kind of like move up and it was super weird and super annoying and it was i i didn't know what to do so it was kind of like annoyed by it but at the very end i had them all like together i think the stairs by the pool on the left side there's it's normally two blocks wide but for some reason it's not letting me do that anymore so uh, if you download this house uh on the gallery i will have my name linked down below but if you do want to download it I and you and you notice that the stairs is like a little wonky on the outside and you're like jamie what what's going on <laughs> I, I told you here first, okay? Don't come after me. But it is a little bit weird. So if you do download it, please do keep that in mind because it is a little wonky. Now the, for the pool, it's a little bit of a weirder shape. I kind of want to do like in my next build more of like an actual like round pool and make it look like an actual like round pool. But <laughs> on the top part, I wanted to kind of put like a hot tub in the middle and have like the pool kind of around it because it's just kind of more of like a rectangle uh, type pool. And on the bottom, it's kind of like a rectangle meets like I don't even know what like not even I don't even know what shape to call that. But <laughs> it's definitely not like an octagon or anything. But um, on the top part, I, I wanted to put a hot tub in the middle and kind of have it like going down, but I completely forgot how to do it. And it, for some reason, it wasn't allowing me to do anything. And you know what? Thinking about it now, I think I know what I had to do. Oh, dang it. It's always when you do the voiceovers afterwards is like, dang it, I should have done that. Oh, I should have done that. Dang. Oh, so that was on me but you know what if you do download this house and you do remodel it tag me in it uh put the hashtag what like simspiration if you want it um 
<laughs> just to uh, show me you're like, hey, I did something cool. I would love to see your builds. Also, if you have any ideas for my next speed builds or whatever comes in the future, please put it down below because your girl always reads it because there's not money there. So, of course, I got <laughs> I will read all of them. So, if you have an idea, please let me know down on there and I will try and take it into consideration and I will definitely try my best to execute it as well as I can. Uh, here, I saw this in the house, obviously. I'm not creative enough to make that up. I... <laughs> I added a bunch of debug items from pets and, uh, sorry, cats and dogs, and I made that cool, like, little, I don't even know, like, a bench that has, like, storage inside? I'm not really sure what the purpose of it is. God only knows what it is with rich people, right? They have the most random stuff in their home, but... <laughs> I definitely think that I executed it pretty well because it kind of looks exactly the same as that. So I'm going to like brush my shoulder like a hey. because <laughs> I pulled that off. So I was like, yeah, um, here I wanted to add something bougie at least. So I put in a massage, massage, a massage. <laughs> A massage like area so your sims can relax after a hard day working at home in the office <laughs> and go down and can maybe get their back rub going or some hot rocks and I think it's just like a nice little zen area and if I had like a big home like this I definitely think I would want something like this because I just love like uh, just like calm music like zen style I love like massages so like and like giving massage i my mom every time i go over to like her shoulders and i'm just like mom it's okay calm down she's like oh i give you five hours to stop that <laughs> so who knows maybe i should be like a masseuse Ooh, weird maybe that's my calling no it's definitely not but i will have it on the side and i'm not getting paid so i don't know why i'm doing it anyway <laughs> but we are here i'm putting the stairs on the side towards the tennis court and obviously we don't have a working tennis court and i you know what, thinking back now, I kind of should have made it like a basketball court, but like all the rich houses in LA always have tennis courts. Like, is that like a rich person thing? Like tennis and golf. Like that's, that's like the main rich person oh, sport, I guess. So <laughs> I have no idea, but I did put a tennis little area down there and I have the stairs from the side of the house going down and I really liked it. Um, it is a pain though because every time I did put a wall down in the building they wanted to disappear <laughs> so it was really annoying and really mean and they were really rude here I'm making like an outdoor patio and again I'm using those debug items from cats and dogs I got it this time cats and dogs and we are kind of like putting them underneath and I kind of wanted to do like a a weird like contrast between like the white and the the kind of like wood over on this side as well and I think it turned out pretty well I did put a grill on the middle there so it's not that weird counter and I think it fit pretty okay for some reason when you put platforms uh, against like a normal wall that has like a normal heighted floor everything kind of wants to like sink down so it took me like five like minutes to try and get that like stove in the side also on the kind of like uh, what is a rusty looking uh, fireplace I wanted to put like a little that like ledge thing there that I thought was kind of cool I wanted to kind of like make it so you were making or like cooking like soup or something like that like in the fireplace and I think it turned out really nice I actually came up with that by myself it doesn't look great I know that um, that's how you can tell that was me but <laughs> I think it was a kind of fun idea. I think I could probably make it into something if I had more time. But I, this, this bill was already taking me long enough. <laughs> like, I think this has taken me like four days because it's just, I've just been on and off about like doing stuff because I wasn't sure 100% what I wanted to go for on the inside because usually with a lot of my builds it's like oh it's like light on the outside and then it's going to be super dark on the inside like with my uh jungle modern home that I just previously did it was kind of like 
grungy on the outside, but like modern on the inside. I don't know. So I, I need to find like a, a happy medium, but I think it turned out really well. Um, I like the contrast between it and kind of when you go inside, you're like, oh, I thought this was going to be like super bright in here. Nah, girl, I made it super dark and it looks really cool. I wanted, I know for a fact I wanted to put a bathroom attached like into the actual bedroom because I saw that in like a lot of rich famous people's homes kind of that they put like the bathroom or like a tub in 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 the uh in the room so I was like that's kind of fun so I wanted to also incorporate that incorporate the incorporate that into my build as well and I really wanted to put that fireplace on like the edge of like in front of the bed but it was in front of like the mirror not the mirror sorry the window and I was like oh this would look so nice and then if I had to like delete it because it doesn't make any sense having a fireplace right in front of a, like a really tall window um so I tried to do it and it looked weird so I, I just put it to the side here I love the bathroom I'm I wish I had more of the clip because I had to pause it because I was like getting frustrated I was like how am I gonna do this as you will see in the screenshots at the very end of the video like I always do I always have these screenshots that you can take a look at you can judge them you can look at them you can admire them you can make fun of them whatever you want but it will be at the very end of the video also in this room we have the kitchen and I wanted to do something a little different um, but I also wanted to keep that like modern feel so let me know if you like it I kind of like it I don't know if I'd do it again, but it is very open. It's very clean. Uh, I do have a dining table there uh, behind the counters, which you will see in a second, but it only has like two chairs because I have like a full on table outside on the patio where that like small rectangular pool is. So I didn't feel the need to like make an actual formal dining table or, or like a dining room. So if you do download this house, you can definitely do that because I think it would be a great idea. Um, obviously I did not, <laughs> so if you want to change that, go right ahead. I have no, you know, I have no say. You can do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, you can see here, it was just like a tiny little table with two little chairs. Um, <laughs> I don't know I thought it looked cute I also wanted to use those debug items and kind of make like my own personal staircase and it just wasn't working I spent like an hour <laughs> trying to do it and it just didn't turn out well so I was like you know what scrap it let's just use the glass right on the stairs it's classic and it still looks good here we have a normal just bathroom and what i mean by normal bathroom i mean that you have an actual like open shower and the in the hallway <laughs> So, I mean, is that normal for a rich person? Hey, if you're a rich person and you live in a, in a nice home, tell me. Let me know. Um, but, you know, the bathrooms in this place are probably my most favorite thing about the home because it's just, like, so modern and sleek and nice. And it's just... And the funny thing is, is that that bedroom that I just worked on upstairs, that's supposed to be, like, the main bedroom. And that doesn't even have the biggest bathroom and you're like what Jamie what are you talking about that thing took up like half the room no <laughs> no that's not it <laughs> I made a bigger one because I was scrolling through Google and I was looking at some like different pictures and I saw this really really cool counter and I was like God, I gotta use it so <laughs> I made it and it's like the size of this room here on the other side of the house so there's just like uh, a hallway there's like a living room and then there's like another bedroom but the door is not attached to that bedroom to that bathroom so it's kind of just like a hallway and then like a massive a massive bathroom <laughs> So, I mean, it's got a tub in there because, you know, we got to have a tub. It doesn't have a shower. You get one or the other, boo. That's what, that's what you're going to get, except in the master bedroom. You get both. So, that's how you can tell that that's the master bedroom. Um, but here, I wanted to kind of make a small little office, a little bit cozy, a little bit with um, some greenery, um, some plants, kind of like getting away from all the modern and sleek stuff. I kind of wanted to make this a little bit more cozier, but it still had that like modern feel to it. Um, 
and I love the couches that have like the overlap of the uh, blanket. I really hope that EA or um, the Sims team keep doing that because over time the textures of the objects and the furniture and even the clothing like all of it has just gotten so much better and i cannot wait to see what they do for the sims 5 i know it's in the works right now um i have no idea what they're gonna be doing with it but i cannot wait and i'm so excited and it's also gonna make me cry because i spend so much money <laughs> on the sims 3 <laughs> On the sims 4 and i'm gonna spend so much more on the sims 5. i can only imagine how many packs there's gonna be for the sims 5. i'm looking over to my left and i literally have like all of the sims 3 packs and like three packs of the sims 4 and then i have the rest on origin and i swear to god that's over like 800 dollars right there um it's <laughs> it's super unhealthy <laughs> but hey i've been playing this game since i was like a freaking little toddler honestly i would play it when my sister was sick and i had the sims one well she had the sims one but i used it more than her so i say that i have the sims one <laughs> but she would totally disagree uh, but she played the sims 2 mostly but whenever time i went over to my godparents house my sister and i would always run upstairs and start playing the sims 2 uh because we never we never had it um so <laughs> i was super stoked when i got the sims 3 i remember i got it at costco and i was with my dad and i finally got it and i played on the computer for the first time and i was like this is so confusing but it was so much fun um so and uh, i just can't wait i can't wait to see what they do for the sims vibe and uh what are your thoughts if you are watching this and you are a simmer what are your thoughts on the sim 5 uh what are you excited for what are you not excited for i am definitely not excited for the money <laughs> it kind of makes me cry a little bit when i had like the sims 3 and then when the sims 4 got released i was like i'm still gonna play the sims 3 i never played the sims 3 again so i don't know if you're that type of person that sticks with one thing i really want to say i want to stick with the sims 4 and i will always stick with the sims 4 but i can't lie to myself i'm definitely going to be using the sims 5 and it's just not gonna go well for my wallet here is the other bedroom. Obviously, we've been working on that for a second, and I think we're actually going to be leaving it soon. But I really like the way it turned out. It was like nice, small. It was cozy, but it was still modern. I've never used those cabinets on the outside of that bed, and I think it turned out really, really well. Um, at nighttime inside the house, I think it's very bright as you can see there's a lot of lights everywhere but i still wanted to make it moody i think like the most dark moodyish type of room in the house is probably that master bedroom on the other side and what i mean by moody i mean like it's kind of like dark it's kind of like ooh, almost like sexy it's kind of nice but like it still has that like cozy feel i don't know you know what i mean like it, it looks nice but this bathroom is really really nice i definitely going outside of my comfort zone i did not think i was gonna do this but i really like the way it turned out especially with the toilet in the other bedroom because it was such like an awkward space and i was like well i got no other room to put the toilet anywhere might as well put it in this little closet area <laughs> so but hey they do that a lot in different parts of the world so I thought it would kind of make sense, especially with Snowy Escape. A lot of the homes uh, come with the toilet in a separate room, uh, which is totally normal for some parts of the world. So I guess I kind of did something normal. So I think it's okay. Um, definitely a small living room I'm working on right now. This is probably like a little game room, even though I didn't even put a game box. Dang it! I forgot to put a game box. <laughs> Dang it, Jamie, why are you like this? Um, but this is kind of more like a hangout area. Uh, I would have put a game, like an Xbox looking thing in here. So while your Sims can kind of hang out while they have like a party or teenagers kind of chilling out here with their friends and they're watching a movie together. Movie night, anyone? Like I wanted to make a basement to put like an actual theater, but the foundation was kind of weird. So I couldn't do that. Um, but this room is small, but it's cozy. It's cute. I don't know if your Sims can necessarily get around that coffee table up there, but give it a shot. If you can't move it a little bit, I should have really tell play tested this house that bathroom on the upstairs the one that had that cool counter that uh sink is functional i did try it and it did work and i was so happy because i really like that design 
Here, I also put like a main foyer common area. So whenever time your sims come home and they have maybe guests over, um, you definitely can kind of just chill around here. Um, I kind of wanted to put a piano in, but then I was like, no, there's not enough room. So if you want to maybe put like a piano, it's very like open. You probably definitely change the area of where the stairs are. But I think I kind of liked uh, kind of what I put everywhere. Also, the uh, wallpaper, I think that was from like the party like the really small fancy party kit that like nobody likes um that has that glowing cube i think this is one of the um <laughs> one of the wallpapers that came with it and I've never used it before so I was like oh I think I kind of want to use it for the first time in forever so <laughs> probably the first time I've ever used it again I wanted to kind of go out of my comfort zone with it and I don't know I kind of like the way it looked it's kind of weird but I I don't know I dig it it's a vibe um, but I did put like a little mini fridge here I wanted to put like a little bar um, but it, the space was too weird so I just put a chair if you want to put like a bar somewhere I wanted to put a bar on the outside Outside where that um, that outside kind of deck is but I never did and I really should have um, dang there's a lot of things that I should <laughs> I should have done before I <laughs> before I finished it <laughs> oops <laughs> I'm sorry if you do like the video please consider subscribing and liking and commenting and I will have all the screenshots at the very end and yeah please stick around for more videos and I will see you all later. Bye guys.